Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann Gideon in Jesus Christ. Yes, brothers and sisters, I'm on a bliss with videos. I've got so much videos to do. So I'm just trying to release as much as I can. Um, I don't like to release a lot of videos, but when I have a lot to do, I've got a lot to record and stuff like that. If I release one a day, it's gonna take like months and months before. So I'm trying to release like one, sorry, like two or three um, a day if I can. But um, so, so brothers and sisters, um, couple beautiful brothers and sisters have been emailing me and I've been ignoring it. I really have. I really have been ignoring it. But this time, somebody sent me a TikTok video, um, and I thought to myself. I will have to do a video just to confirm what the Most High Yah is saying concerning the food shortages. It is real. It is coming. Now, I understand. I don't know if it's only in the United States of America that this is happening. Um, but apparently, okay, brothers and sisters, sorry. Apparently, farmers, okay, Farmers in the United States, they are being paid by the wicked pharaohs to destroy their crops. So they value their field with their crops in it, whatever that could be, potato, whatever, carrots, lettuce, cucumber, whatever the plant to sell to supermarkets and big stores. So they value the the land where the crop is on how much they would have raked in if they sell the crop and the wicked pharaoh paid them that money and then sent people out to destroy the crops why, why are they doing this why are the wicked pharaohs paying farmers to destroy their crops why are they doing that because they have a plan in it. It's all to do with the new world that's coming in, brothers and sisters. And famine is coming. Bible prophesy about famine. God is coming, brothers and sisters. Because only a demonic and a wicked entity of what is called pharaohs and their cabinets would pay somebody to destroy food. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, please make sure you make it in the second exodus, yeah? Make sure you make it in the second exodus, a.k.a. the place of safety, a.k.a. the wilderness. Because what is to come upon this world is not going to be pretty. And as I watch this video of this guy talking that the farmers have been paid to destroy their crops and then they, with a big massive tractor, the contractors, they, they are there to do what the government tell them to do, to destroy all the, the, the crops. They can't understand the reason why. But brothers and sisters, I mean, this is nothing new that I'm going to say because we know that some of our food are laced with GMO. It's laced with wicked additives that we shouldn't even be consuming. We know that. But the good God of heaven is so merciful. Hallelujah. But what is to come, brothers and sisters, is going to be far more wickeder. Far more. Oh, my God. Something just running in my mind. Lord Jesus, we love you. Father God, these people are wicked. But let me just take my time and talk before I reach to that what the Lord has just in uh, place on my spirit. So it's all about targeting our food. So it's going to come the time that the only time you can get good, real, authentic food to eat is when you take the mark of the beast, the 666. That's when you can buy proper food. There was a thing going around um, that China was making plastic rice. So when you, the, the rice looks, looks real, looks authentic. But when you cook it, brothers and sisters, you are literally eating plastic. 
You are literally eating plastic. And so if the wicked pharaohs of this world continues on this trend all over the world, not only in America, but all over the world, to destroy food that people can eat, they're going to introduce artificial food that is not good for human beings. And not only artificial... Lord, I'm just, not only artificial food they're going to introduce, brothers and sisters, but they're going to let you know, like, they're not going to hide it. in the Because it's a lawlessness, isn't it? We're dealing with lawlessness when the time comes. So not only artificial food they're going to introduce, but when it comes to the meat, when it comes to the meat, brothers and sisters, they're going to let you know that the meat that you're buying is human being. So far-fetched, far-fetched, isn't it? So like something in Hollywood. It's not far-fetched. This is going to happen. And they're not going to hide it. They're not going to hide it. Why? Because it is lawlessness. Anything that is, anything that was law in the current world, which is this world that we're living in, when the Antichrist come, his kingdom is going to be wicked. It's going to be Satan. It's Satan kingdom you're living in, literally. So it's going to be lawless. Lawless. And they're not going to hide any of these things, brothers and sisters. And some of these food chains, these, you know, well, KFC, McDonald's, pizza, these massive big food chains, they're going to be in, a, in on it as well, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Mm. Something just revealed to me again. Yes, Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking as most high Yah. As Yah gives me the, 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 the utterance. But I might mention it some more when I do another video called Body Harvesting. Um... Let me quickly mention it. Now, the book, of, the book of Revelation talks about that the saints will be killed. And John is very specific. John is very, very specific how those of us who reject the mark of the beast, that we will be beheaded, that we're going to get the guillotine. You know, because that's what they're going to use, or the machete or whatever, to get our heads off. But it's very, very interesting, brothers and sisters, that this is the death that we're going to get. Because they could have poisoned us. They could have do the, um, what do you call it? They could have do the, uh, they could have done the, um, oh, the, the Holocaust style. Poisoning, you know, all these people, groups of people together. Or shooting us or whatever. But they didn't, they don't do that. And it just remind me of, you know, I mean, it just remind me of halal meat. Because with the halal meat, you've got to kill it a certain way. Mm -hmm. With halal meat, you've got to drain the blood. You've got, you've got to kill it a certain way. And so the beheading, because at the time, is going to be the share of law that's going to be in place. And like I say, in the lawless world, they're going to sell human meat. They, they will sell it. Very deep, brothers and sisters. The things that the Most High Yah shows me. It is coming. This thing is coming, brothers and sisters, and we have to be prepared. Prepared. Prepared, rather, than prepared. We have to be prepared of what is to come. Cannot bury our heads in the sand. Got to use wisdom. Got to draw close to the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lawlessness is coming. I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough about the lawlessness, brothers and sisters. That's coming. 
our new, our, our, our present world that we know is going to end. For some people, going in the new world is going to be hooray, hooray. Because, you see, their names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Light. And the, their names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. They are of the seed of the serpent. So, the seed of the serpent rejoice when Satan brings out a satanic um, endeavor. Because they hate righteousness, they hate goodness. It won't be long. We, soon and very soon, we'll be going home. Well, when I say going home, I mean, you know, I talk about the wilderness event first. That's going to happen first. And then Christ, the Messiah, the biblical Messiah, will be coming to take over. So this that we're going through is temporary. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not permanent. And it's not, you know, um, forever. But these things have to happen brothers and sisters it just have to happen all right so i just really wanted to come and um and just bring this to you so be bold be strong be courageous walk with you just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yeah who lived above the heavens yeah eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in Jesus Christ, precious holy name, amen and amen. Let us say the benediction is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.